All right, now we're gonna make a multi-view sketch. And the purpose of a multi-view sketch is so that we can see three different sides of an object all at the same, um, not all at the same time, but we can see them independently. So with an isometric sketch, we can see all three of these sides at the same time on the same object. Now we're gonna look at each view of that object independently so we can add measurements and annotations and all those things that are gonna help us fully describe the object. Now, whenever you do a multi-view sketch, I would also like you to do an isometric sketch because sketches, the purpose of them is to fully describe an object. So if we can see that object in multiple different ways, it's gonna help, it's gonna more so help fully describe that object. So I already have my isometric sketch here of the object that we are going to create. This is also gonna help me know which view I'm looking at to draw here, okay? So when I'm looking at a shape and trying to figure out the different views, I'm gonna hold it like however it is in the photo or sketch that I have created already. Um, so I can help determine which sides I'm looking at that are going to be the same as they are on my isometric. So if I'm holding my shape like this, my top view is everything that I could see from directly above my shape. So I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit so I can see everything that I would look at from the top of that shape. So this is what my top view is going to look like and we'll sketch that here in a minute. If I take it back to the original position, everything on the left side of my shape, my hand makes an L, left side, is going to be the front view. So if I rotate my shape just a little bit, I can see that there's one, two, three, four cubes that I can see just from the front. Yeah, there's a couple that are in the back there still, but all I can see if I rotate it and look at this left side independently are these four cubes. Now taking it back to the original position, if I wanna look at my side position, uh, my side view, my side view is everything on the right side of my object. So I'm gonna rotate it over here and look at what I see from the right of my object and I can see one, two, three cubes. Even though there's cubes behind it, I can only see three if I'm looking at it directly from the side view. So that's all that I'm gonna sketch, okay? So let's get into actually sketching these. Multi-view sketches are 2D instead of 3D. We did 3D for isometric, multi-view is gonna be 2D. So you'll notice that the graph paper here for our multi-view are just squares. So we're only gonna have horizontal and vertical my apologies, vertical and horizontal lines, okay? So anything that's up and down on a specific view is gonna be vertical. Anything that's side to side on a specific view is gonna be horizontal. These are a little easier. The biggest part, the biggest struggle for you is probably gonna be finding where those different views are, okay? So my top view like i said if i have it in my original position i'm just going to rotate it so i can see everything that i would be looking at from the very top of my object just like when i did my isometric sketch i want to use a ruler to help me stay on my grid lines so from my top view i am going to draw the outline of my shape so i'm going to go down four to draw this left side and just like when I did my isometric sketches, I like to make the scale of my sketch two squares on my paper for one cube in my object. So I drew this left side here. I'm gonna draw this bottom part right here, which I'm going to go over two. One, two, three, four. So over two cubes, which would be four squares on my paper. I'm gonna draw this right angle right here. So I'm gonna go up two squares on my paper. And I'm going to go over two squares on my paper and create that right angle that's right there on my shape. I'm going to go up two. And then I'm going to connect those two lines to finish out this top part of my shape. Now, I'm not done there with this spe specific view. I also wanna show on these views where there are cubes at different heights than others. So this one is taller than all of the ones under it. So I am going to draw in just that cube because that's gonna tell the person that's looking at my sketch that this one is at a different level than the rest of them. Okay, so we, use, we call those internal lines and we use them to show cubes at different heights, all right? 
So if we take it back to that original positioning, like it is in my isometric sketch, I'm gonna look at my left side of my object and that's how I'm going to draw my front view. My front view is always the left side of my object. Now, before I get into drawing my front view, I wanna make sure that my views are lined up with each other. So my front view should be directly below my top view. So the left sides of those objects should be on the same grid line. And I can do that by just using my ruler to make sure I'm on the same grid line all the way down. So for this left side, it's two cubes high. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four on my sketch paper. To draw the bottom, that's three cubes long. So I'm gonna go six squares on my graph paper. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do this view right now. So I'm gonna go up two. I'm gonna do this right angle now. So I'm gonna go over two cubes worth, which is four squares on my paper. And then I'm gonna go up two squares worth because we've got one cube right here. And then I'm gonna connect those. And then once I have that outline, I have to figure out where my internal lines go. So if I look at this, these two are touching, but these two are farther back than these ones. So I'm going to put an internal line right here to show that these two are at different levels than each other. And I'm also going to put one right here to show that these two are at different levels than each other. Okay. Now, just like when I did my top and front view, I want to make sure that my side view is perfectly lined up with my front view. So to find my side view, I'm going to take my shape, take it back to my original position, rotate it so I can see that right side. And I can see one, two, three cubes here. So I'm going to line up the bottom lines of my front and side view. So I'm going to take my ruler, make sure I'm on that same grid line. And I'm going to go over one, two, three, four because we've got two cubes that make up this bottom line. I'm gonna go up two cubes worth, which would be four squares on my paper because it is two cubes tall. I'm gonna go over two. I'm gonna go down two. I'm gonna go over two to make that right angle. And then I'm gonna go down two. So we can finish out that shape okay again I have to figure out where my internal lines are all three of these are at different levels than the one next to it so I'm gonna put internal lines between all of these cubes so I've got an internal line here and an internal line right here and then I have my multi view sketch done everything's perfectly lined up I also like to put my views in the corners of my paper just because that's going to give me room to add annotations and measurements and dimensions later on. We don't have to line up our isometric view with our other views. This can just hang out in this corner wherever it wants to. Okay. Another thing that you can do to help you relate these different sides to each other is to color coordinate them. So you can get three different colors of marker or colored pencil, and you can color in each of these views on your isometric. So I've got my top view right here. I've got my front view right here. And I've got my side view right here. Okay. And then I can take each of those colors and show where they are found on my multi view. So my top view is green. I'm going to color my top view in here and you can color these more beautifully than I am. I am not an artist and I'm trying to do this quickly. So I'm just kind of scribbling it in front view on my isometric is blue. going to do the same thing on my multi view side view on my isometric is gray. So I'm going to do the same thing on my multi view. That's just gonna help you continue to recognize that these are the same shapes that we're looking at. We're just looking at them in two different ways. And we can see each of these views 
on our isometric sketch. We're just looking at it in 3D instead of 2D. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions.